Hey everyone, how are you doing? Happy 100 days raw vegan. Woo! By the grace of the Lord and His strength. Before and after, what has changed? I am noticing I can take on a lot more than three and a half months ago, than 100 days ago. My strength has increased, brain function is improving, and there's less dizziness going on. Um, a few months ago, three, four months ago, before I started all this, I was noticing I was just a little more wobbly, like when getting dressed, um, you know, just there was a little more brain fog, a little more dizziness going on, and that seems to be done or almost done. Um, if I'm detoxing or going through something that's clearly like a detox situation, there might be a little bit of that, but for the most part, that is done. So, woo -woo. Praise the Lord. An example of my strength increasing, I had the opportunity to do three massages in a row um, a few weeks ago, and they were back to back pretty much. I just did a little stretching in between, and I had the strength to do it, which is awesome, you know, since having COVID back in August last year, strength really decreased after COVID. So I'm getting the strength back, it's all coming back. And I really enjoy getting out in the sunshine and walking like almost every day, especially if I don't have a massage, you know, to put out that energy that day. It's good to get out there and walk around and um, burn some of that energy now. Number two, big hormone changes. I had told you that when um, I had first gone raw vegan, like a couple weeks in, my cycle had returned after it had stopped after getting COVID. Um, it came to a, like a dead stop. Well, after a couple of weeks raw, two and a half, somewhere in there, I ended up with a cycle coming back. So it was real light, and then this past time at my three month raw video, I shared like it really, really came back. So that lasted almost three weeks, y'all. <laughs> three weeks, that was way too long. <laughs> But hopefully that was a one-time thing. We shall see, since this is kind of a vlogging journey, um, you're getting it in real time as what's happening. So that lasted almost three weeks, just shy of three weeks. Cycles can get real strange when you're getting close to perimenopause, menopause, whatever. But now I really believe it's doing a reverse, a reversal here. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> So number three, I really love how God infuses and empowers us with the strength uh, when we surrender self-effort to fix things. So many people say to me when they ask me questions about what I'm doing and how it's working and all of this, they, they so often say to me, oh, I could never do that. I could never do raw vegan. Well, I couldn't either. To be honest, to be completely honest, I was high raw or raw till dinner for over 10 years because I could only do like one month at a time fully raw and vegan um, with the empowerment to get through it, you know, maybe, maybe two months one time I got through it. But I always would slip back to raw till dinner and then eat the cooked food at night. So I couldn't do it either, honestly. <laughs> but unless the Lord empowered it, which he did. So I guess, you know, what I would want to say to those people, you know, is I couldn't do it either, but I told the Lord, if this is the answer for me, then you have to empower it and I will rely on your strength and I will do it with you. And that is what happened. So knowing that I would feel my very best and be able to walk out the destiny and fulfill the destiny and journey he has for me on this earth to bring heaven to earth. So that is what happened. I did have to admit I couldn't fix my health issues on my own. I had to rely on his graciousness, his kindness, his compassion uh, to lead me to this place of answers and healing. I had to surrender my own self-effort to try and fix things. So, and what, how do you do that? You just say, Lord, I surrender my own self effort, my own effort to try and fix this. I need you, I rely on you, I rely on your strength to come in and infuse and empower me to walk this out if this is the answer for me. 
So he brought the answers and the strength to walk it out. He's a good, good father. He's a good dad. He's perfect. <laughs> he is not a man that he should lie. He is perfect. Number four, I've been trying new recipes, ones that I thought my hubby might enjoy. He likes the sweet treats. So aside from making him smoothies and an occasional salad, um, I started trying some raw vegan desserts like um, oatmeal raisin bars and uh, carrot cake with like a nice cream frosting mixed in and on top and uh, they tasted great. <laughs> I did okay with the oatmeal raisin bar, however, the carrot cake became really a combo bombo gut log. It was rough. Now there were, could be a few other things that factored in last week when I did it. It was a week of a full moon. I didn't check the dates, but it could have been spring equinox. So during spring equinox and full moon, there can be a quite a great increase in inflammation going on just because the way the tide, you know, just like the tides, they pull and change the water. We're like 75% water and it pulls our water up. So it can feel like there's more swelling in the brain and more swelling in our upper body and more inflammation, more achiness and pains, things like that. So all of that could have been going on. And there were a couple of people sick around me. I didn't know at the time, but later they, they said that they had come down with something and then someone close to them also got it. So I could have also been fighting whatever was going around and I wasn't really aware of it. So I attributed it mostly to this carrot cake raw vegan dessert thing I made, but it could have been that whole, you know, all of the above. Like they were very tasty and hubby didn't really have any issues. He said it did slow down his digestion. It was heavy on the nuts and a few kinds of nuts. And then it had the shred carrots and stuff like that in it. So it, it did slow down his digestion, but he was okay. And he was fine. He was fine on the oatmeal raisin bars. So that's good. Five, I also upped my game because of this with green juices. I was kind of holding off and not really getting into the green juices, but when all of this happened, it's what started coming to mind, that it's time to figure out these green juices. And I kind of felt like I had to do a bit of a cleanse on top of this cleanse, <laughs> you know, do a little more intense cleanse to um, get rid of all the symptoms I was feeling. And it did work. So. My hubby had told me about this clean juice, organic juice place. So I went and tried a couple of their juices. It was really good, it's organic. I leaned towards the green ones, um, not the fruity ones. I like to keep the fiber in the fruit now, being over 40, over 45. Um, glycemic, in you know, feeling the ups and lows, I don't really like that. I would rather stay steady. So. I leaned more to the green juices and then I started mixing them into my smoothies. So it also helped cravings disappear even more at night, you know, because I'm probably getting way more minerals and um, vitamins and nutrients in because I'm upping my greens and that's kind of a big key. So that happened and then I got blessed with a juicer. So a few years ago when I first moved to Florida, I had purchased a really good like Omega Vert juicer, you know, 400 bucks, whatever they are. And I didn't really like it. I didn't really enjoy using it, but I had a friend that really was interested in using it. So I passed it over to her and pretty much, you know, it just stayed with her. And I was like, that's cool. And then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, now I need a juicer, Lord. Well, guess what? So I was hanging out with a different friend um, the other weekend and she I'm talking about juicing and buying juices and stuff and she's like oh I have a juicer I don't use it you want to borrow it <laughs> so here I got blessed with a juicer to borrow and I already started I already started juicing celery and kale and sprouts alfalfa sprouts were what I had on hand at the moment and um, whatever else cucumber lime lemon ginger those kind of things I started juicing so, praise the Lord, look how good he just takes care of us. I love to see what he brings our way, you know, and what he continues to bring our way. It's just so neat. It's like daddy's really trying to show you some something that is good for you. Number six, 
hot flashes have really gone down. So with all of the hormonal changes and everything, hot flashes have really gone down. I have noticed specifically that if I have like a really high sodium thing, like I use some um, organic tomato sauce for something instead of making my own, um, or and it had a high sodium or something, too many fat combos in one night or her high fat, um, I noticed the symptoms like the warmth in my face coming, but it's been significantly down or all the way gone. I'm just noticing specifically what causes it now. So that's cool. Number seven, achiness. Achiness has gone way down. And like, for example, I have a tooth that needs a crown. I just found out and it's my first crown need apparently, or if I'm gonna get it extracted, we'll find out. But I don't feel very achy about it, like it's not hurting all the time. I don't need to take anything to feel better. Um, I We have Arnica on hand that helps bring down inflammation, but I haven't really had to use it. You know, like 99% of the time I'm feeling good. Um, it only hurts if I chew directly on it, so I just stay away from that area until I get this all dealt with. But there's an example of like achiness, something that, you know, the rest of the world may say is very achy and painful because it has decay in it, it needs to be cleaned out deeply and restructured, um, but it's not very achy at all. So praise the Lord! <laughs> Definitely more creative ideas happening, which is so fun. Just all the time, like these new creative ideas are happening and then I send them over to my clients and they're like, yeah, let's do that. So, you know, then that brings in the, the income needed and all of that, so it's super cool. Definitely continuing to slim down. I'm always noticing that there's some new pair of pants or shorts or shirt or something that I fit into that I didn't fit into before. Tight clothes are becoming looser all the time. So still going down. I'm not yet into a 10, but my tighter 12s are fitting, um, you know, new, finding new ones all the time that are fitting me in size 12s. And that's down from, really I should have been a size 18 um, before I started all this. So from an 18 down to the tighter 12s that are fitting. Woo -woo. And I think the 10s are right around the corner, but I'm not in a rush, really. I'm in a happy zone, so, um, you know, <laughs> I'm in a cool zone, it's fine. I have a little bit wider hips, so that could be partially why, just like my structure, you know, we'll, we'll see. I've never been smaller than a size 10 in my whole life. Um, as I was growing up and all in high school, 10 was kind of like the smallest I ever was, and that could be my hip structure too. So that might be the smallest I go, I don't know. But I am fitting in medium tops on top now. So that's fun, yay. I think that's it guys. That's all of my updates and details from 100 Days Raw. Woohoo! So sending you love, blessings, hugs, and encouragement that if you feel like you can't do this, just say to the Lord, Lord, I can't do this. But if this is the answer for me, if this is what you want me to do, to learn about, to heal and grow and do better in my own body with digestive and then everything else that digestive affects, um, I'm willing, so I surrender my own effort to fix it, and I ask you, Lord, to just empower me to walk it out and to do it. So that would be my prayer for you and a prayer that you could say. All right, love and blessings. Talk to you soon. Bye.